Even thousands of miles away, fans of both teams here in Boston felt the excitement and some the disappointment. WBZ's Betts Romano takes us to the watch parties. The looks of absolute devastation. I was holding my breath the whole time, but I, had, I was positive. I mean, three seconds, three seconds. Seconds for these 49ers fans to realize they had lost it all again. <laughs> With emotions running the gamut. What kind of a nail biter was this? It was it was so stressful the whole time. It was down to the wire. The point bar in Boston has become a focal point for 49ers faithful, and there's no wavering allegiance here just because they've changed their coast. I got told to jump ship all the time, and I just can't. My heart and soul's with the Niners. I'm super excited. We're in a good environment with a good crowd. <laughs> And there were plenty of highs in this game, especially for Purdy fans. The young quarterback, Mr. Irrelevant, who was the last pick of the 2022 draft. Mr. Irrelevant ain't so irrelevant anymore. There have been a number of storylines with this rematch. The 49ers going for their first win since 1995, when some of these fans weren't even born. The Chiefs going for their third win in five years, but were still considered underdogs. It's great for my city. I love it. The Chiefs are obviously not um, new Newcomers to pulling off miracles in games. I think we have a better storyline than someone dating somebody. And that's all we'll say about that. But it wasn't to be for the 49ers. It's a tough loss for sure. It's it's tough. You know, we played a great game. Leaving this dedicated group to say, there's always next year. In Boston, Beth Germano, WBZ News.